Hiya, today we're going to walk up and down the Cane Hill Locks towpath near Devizes, Wiltshire. We've parked in the car park which costs £3. I have to say I went to all the trouble of drawing out £10, buying some mango chutney so we had the right change and then we got here and you have got to pay by card only. <laughs> following the All Trails app from alltrails.com and the walk is for about two miles, just over two miles. This is one of the longest continual flights of locks. There is also a cafe and a walk through Jubilee Wood which we might consider as well. We actually drive over this bridge coming into and out of devices. Now through the dark tunnel under the bridge we normally drive over. Woo! Is it echoey? It is. We've gone up as far as lock 49. So there's no locks in front of us now, just boats waiting or just staying here presumably and then waiting to go down the flight of locks. And now we're going to walk down all the way back to lock number one, I assume. <laughs> Okie dokie, let's go for it. The Canal and River Trust have said that research shows that spending time by water really does make us feel happier and healthier. Do you think that's true, Paul? Yeah, that could well be. We hmm. do like to be by the side of the seaside. Although I do. The sea. Not the seaside, but it is water, isn't it? The canal was built in the early 19th century after Robert Whitworth submitted his findings in 1793. Controversially, it was originally going to go through Marlborough, but was changed to Devizes due to concerns about water shortage. This route, however, needed a very long tunnel and all these locks to cope with the dramatic change in height between Trowbridge and Devizes. The locks were made from bricks, made from local clay. Before the arrival of railways and properly surfaced roads, inland waterways were the main way to transport goods like coal, grain and stone. Between 1829 and 1843, they even continued at night as gas lights were fitted and lit along the way. It cost a shilling a boat to travel at night. This Cane Hill flight was closed to boat traffic in 1951. It is open for business, but in a very different way now. Pleasure boating, fishing, walking and cycling. I have seen a very confusing sign about swimming and fishing. Not quite sure what that means. It has something for everyone here and the wildlife is, is thriving. Paul is saying maybe fishing swims is a fishing term and it doesn't mean you can actually fit, you can fish, but it doesn't actually mean you can swim. So I'm a little bit confused, but the fishing swim Maybe a fishing term? We're not sure. We're not fishers. <laughs> We're not fishermen. So, I've just spoken to a fisherman. I could tell it was a fisherman because he was carrying a fishing rod. I'm quite clever like that. And I said, what does it mean, fish and swim? And he said it means the platform, that the area of water in front of the platform is the area that they're allowed to fish in so it means that there's no arguments so if you're on a platform <coughs> that is your bit of water 
so that is what a fishing swim is no not <laughs> a, a swim i did think it's strange to swim whilst fishing or to swim whilst other people are fishing no it means an area of water that you are allowed to fish in from that platform well that's um quite a big nest that this one is but then swans are quite big birds <laughs> and then we sat down for our afternoon bag of crisps and there's a canadian goose what a wonderful walk this has been there's more than one Unfortunately, there's something wrong with a pump somewhere, so they're stopping uh, moving the boats up and down the locks from 1pm. And of course we arrived at 3pm, something like that, so we've missed that. So we'll have to come back another day to see the boats actually going through the locks. But I will put a link in the description below so you can follow that to see. I'll find another video where it shows somebody with a, a boat, a canal boat, a barge going through the locks. So we started somewhere in the middle and we walked up to lock 49. Then we've walked the other way down to lock 23. But we're going to go back to the car now. We don't think we got time to look around the woods as well today, unfortunately. We'll have to do that another time. And we're not sure about <laughs> going to the cafe either. By doing a little bit extra each end, we actually did about four miles today. So about twice what we were aiming for, but it was a lovely walk.